It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was in my local supermarket and I seen some beers that have been in the supermarkets for years. Years and years and years. And for whatever reason, I've just not picked it up. I picked up some of the beers, but not all of the beers. Uh, they seem to have a much better range these days as, uh, at the same time. They're a North Wales brewery. Uh, they're called uh, Bragdy Conway Brewery. And this is their Welsh Pride copper coloured bitter. It's coming in at 4.3% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. Black bottle cap. They're a brewery that when you try their beer, they generally surprise you with the quality. The quality of the beer is generally pretty outstanding. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Ooh, bottled conditioned beer. Look at that. Look at the sediment floating around in the glass. Now, some of you some people would be thinking, oh, you know, dirty beer, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm all up. I've always been all up for adding the sediment into the in, into the glass of beer from the bottle. It's that last inch. If you want to keep that out of your beer, then you leave your last kind of fingerful, that last half inch, leave it in the bottle and, and, and take it away. If it kind of... If you just can't get over the fact that there's bits and pieces in your beer. Uh, but for me, I remember reading my first real ale book years ago. And I read about bottle conditioned beer. And the, the first thing I read was, yeah, if you want to leave it out, leave that kind of fingerful in the bottle. The second thing I read was, but if you want to put it in there, then you're just going to be putting loads of extra flavour in your beer. Plus lots of vitamin i think it's vitamin b i always get it mixed up is that vitamin b or vitamin d anyway there's lots of vitamins in the little bits of kind of sediment there that makes your way into the beer but i always add it to the beer because it always adds flavor and if you think of new world beer today if you think of all of these wonderful like when i read that book that was 2010 fast forward 2022 and and, and it, Every beer seems to be hazy these days. Hazy, flavoursome beer. So so it's probably not much of a problem, or it's probably not a problem as it kind of once was back in 2010. I've never had a problem with it. I've always added the sediment to my beer. Anyway, on with the beer review. Review. We had a one finger white head. Good levels of carbonation, slightly hazy looking beer. Bits of sediment there rolling around in the glass. Let's get the aroma on this. I'd say amber coloured ale, hazy amber coloured ale. Yeah, it smells good. It smells really good. A little bit of marmalade on rye. Spicy, peppery. A little bit of lemon. Touch of tangerine. 4.3% ABV. Yeah, this is this is all day long session strength beer for me. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Mm. Yeah, solid. Absolutely solid. Well, more than solid, it's a good beer. I like the drinkability. You're tasting that kind of North Wales water quality. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a hint of a biscuitiness that is running right the way through the beer. A light kind of wafer biscuit. It's quite bready as well. A 
and there's some toffee malt in here. Nice, nice toffee malt. Well built beer. In terms of that balance, so I've just been talking about the malt at the moment. I've just been talking about that sweetness over over here. Uh, there's there's a nice amount of bitterness to the beer. It's a flavoursome bitterness. They've definitely added. They've definitely added, not added, added um, hops to the boil. You definitely get that kind of hop bitterness on the back end to balance off that malty sweetness, which I like. It, it, it's a nicely balanced beer. But then there's flavours of. <coughs> pardon me. It is marmalade on rye. <clears throat> It's definitely a marmalade on rye. You're definitely getting kind of like like years ago. I would say, kind of, if it, it tastes like your grandma's cooking fresh jam on the stove, and you're getting them kind of jammy flavours. But I've kind of refined it a little bit more now to that kind of. I think I heard somebody say it. I think I was at a beer festival, and somebody leaned into me and went marmalade on rye. And it was like an explosion of thought. It was like, oh my goodness me, yeah. The, the 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 rye bread, the biscuit bread, yeah, absolutely. The marmalade, yeah, I can imagine it. I can imagine that kind of marmalade on rye. And it definitely tastes like that kind of marmalade on rye. Uh, that was a, a being at that fest beer festival, listening to that description for the beer was wonderful. Because as much as you like to as, as as many beers that I've drunk. I've drunk nearly 8,000 beers now on the channel. If not more, if you think about all the beers that I've judged and, and not reviewed. It's, it's definitely over 8,000 beers now. But you're always learning. You never stop learning with beer. You're always kind of fine tuning. And I don't think you'll ever get to a point where you will completely have a 100% kind of flavour palette. I think you'll always have room to keep finding, kind of fine tuning your palette to, to pick up weird and wonderful flavours. And I love that about beer. I love that about beer. Great lacing on the glass. As I rock the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. As I roll it round now, you can see how much of a well-built, beautiful beer that is. Uh, the little bits of sediment, if you're new to the channel, if you're, if you're looking at that sediment floating round, you don't, you don't even feel it. It's not like it catches your throat or it's not like it, it's even, it's part of the liquid. It's not a problem, it really isn't. I could drink pints, pints and pints and pints of that. Uh, it, it's a place I need to go and see, really, uh, North Wales. Never really, I've not been up to North Wales. Actually, I tell a lie, I drove through North Wales back in October last year when I come back from Liverpool. Um, that was pretty cool. But I need to visit North Wales and talk and drink. And I'd love to visit this brewery. This brewery, Brag D. They made a. They got a beer called Brag D. And it's it's always in the supermarket. And I reviewed it. I remember reviewing it at the back end of twenty twenty one, and I was completely blown away by this beer. How good this beer was by Conway Brewery. Something, it's a, it's a beer, <laughs> should have really researched it before I come into this beer review. But if you know of Con Conway Brewery, then you'll know of this beer. You'll know the beer that I'm talking about. Um, this seems a newer range of beers to me. Um, this, this seems like, but it's nice to see that they've opened their range up. It's nice to see that they've got more beers, even down here in South Wales. But you just, you don't just see their beers in South Wales. You see their beers kind of all over. 
you see it you see it down in kind of Wiltshire and they're that good they're that good of a brewery it's a quality quality brewery I think right copper bitter description orange citrus and malt aroma with a sweet nutty malty finish yeah absolutely uh, all our beers are bottled at source in small batches. They undergo the minimum of processing, so they are unfiltered, unpasteurized, and naturally carbonated. We do this because we believe this pr produces the best taste in beer. Do you know, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. The more you process something, well, the word process itself, the more you mess about with a beer, the more the more likely you are that you're going to be pulling flavours from it. Unpasteurised, unfiltered, naturally carbonated beer. What more can you want? Yeah, I would love to go and visit this brewery. I might contact them, actually. I might contact them and um, I might jump on this. This is a railway called the Heart of Wales. Um, railway and it goes it goes from south to north Wales right the way through the middle of Wales and apparently it's the most amazing rail trip in the UK at least um, in terms of beauty I'm one of these people if I go on a train and I'll be quick with this one and um, because I want to rate the beer if I go on a train you see everybody else on a train um, they, they, they're looking at their phones or they're looking at their tablets um, and I like to buy a few beers when I'm on a train and just sit back and look out to that continuous moving picture out the window. And I, I can imagine that, that would be a really enjoyable train ride for me. It would be to grab a few beers and just stare out the window for hours, enjoying my beer and enjoying the view. Um, that should be a trip I organise up to Conway Brewery. Have a look at their, their brewing facilities. Looks good, smells good, tastes good. Really good brewery, Conway. Really, really good brewery. Know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I like that bitter, copper coloured bitter, 4.3% ABV, perfect ABV to session. I like that kind of 4 to 4.5. I was drinking a 3.5 the other day and it just wasn't enough. It just felt too watery. But when you get it up to 4 to 5% ABV, it's absolutely spot on for me. Spot on. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.